Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Mavi. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today, we are looking at the band Sailing Before the Wind with their song, One Step Over, featuring Jonathan Thorpenberg of The Unguided. This came out March 11th, fairly, fairly new. Great band, I think they're based out of Japan, and um, I'm kind of like a new fan of theirs, and yeah, new, new song, new-ish song, right? Like 10 days. We're gonna check it out. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna stop talking. Like always, I'll probably try to grab my guitar and we're going to listen and then try to pick out some stuff and see what happens. So with all that out of the way, let's just, let's just get right into it. Let's do this. Oh, groovy. This is groovy. I like this. This is cool. I dig it. Chorus. Here we go. Come on. Building up. Three, four. Oh, I like that. That was cool. The screaming, the screaming, <laughs> um, it's cool. It reminds me a little bit of like Garrett from Silent Planet. The way some of the stuff he enunciates, the way like, for the lead, right? Like, a little bit like uh, how Silent Planet uh, Garrett does it. Not bad, cool. Like, I Nice. Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> that was sick. Yeah. Yo, this this is great. Yeah. I, I like this. This is cool. Very, very good solo. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Bringing it back. Let's bring it back. Yes. Great, great um, songwriting. Oh, I like that. Is there a chorus coming after this or is this just how it ends? It's how it ends. Fantastic. Holy shit. That was cool. Yeah, I got the, the, the screaming stuff really reminded me of like some uh, Silent Planet stuff. The way, just the way he like enunciates things. I'm not, I can't scream, but there's this like, duh, 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 like this, this fuck this high thing that uh, vocalists will do to like emphasize like emotion to me at least. That's how I feel. I'm taking it. Like he's talking and like something Silent Planet is really good at doing. And, and so is this vocalist. 
is that like there's they, they convey emotion with screams like there's there's like but by the way you know full disclosure here you're <laughs> Um, a non-vocalist is, is t telling you this, so take that with a grain of salt. I'm not like here to tell you that's exactly what's going on. I could be way off. But, uh, you know, when screamers are doing their thing, they're uh, singing or screaming, um, sometimes it's just very like monotone or it's like they have three levels. It's like low, mid, and then a high like fry or something like that. And I really like when it's like this yelly kind of thing. Like I said, I don't know what exactly is going on I don't know what the proper technique of it is. I just think it's really cool when they're like screaming and yelling and there's this little bit almost like, it, it, it's, it's like reminiscent of like, um, like your voice cracking or something. It just kind of like conveys more emotion than like, you know, three like levels of like, um, or three tones of screams. I don't know if that makes sense. I really liked it. The chorus was solid, singing was good. It, um, you know, little parts kind of caught me off guard, which I actually really liked. You know, you would think like, okay, here comes the chorus, and then they just go silent. And then you get fucking hit with it. I love when bands do that, because you don't see it coming, right? So you're just kind of listening, like, here it comes, and it's not there, you're like, what? And then it fucking blasts you in the face. I think that's great. I thought that was fun. Towards the end of it, they're doing the breakdown -y thing, there's like widdly diddlies, and then the fucking bass comes in out of nowhere, and sh is just shredding balls. Thought that was great too. Yeah, so let's go back and listen and maybe I could pick out some stuff, maybe. Um, right now my guitar is tuned in drop A. So, you know, that, that, that might make things a little bit of a challenge. We will see. Can I figure out that part? I'm always scared being put on the spot <laughs> in these situations. I'm horrible at this. Na 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 na. Buddy, what are you doing there? What are you doing there? Why is that so hard for me? Da 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 da. Definitely not that. Um, da 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 da. Oh wait. Back streets, back. All right. All right. So I think what's going on in the beginning is like a. Something like that. Maybe they're in drop B. I'm in drop A, so like. Maybe they're in drop B. I'm gonna assume this band is in drop B. I don't know. Uh, my, my, my hearing is not great. My hearing is fine. I'm just not great at transposing. And I think for a band of this kind of style, Silent Planet-y, that kind of thing, I think a lot of them, you know, August Burns Red, they all play in drop B. So let's assume it's in drop B. Now that we know that. Life without. Okay, let's let's learn this chorus. Okay, 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 cool. So, figuring out the chorus was uh, not as hard as the the main little diddle the whole. A little bit easier for the chorus. A little bit more straightforward with the chorus, too. So, it's like this, um... Um, A... B, all right, B, right, B. Right, because we are in um, A, E, 
A. Alright, um, we're done. We are done with this. I can't, I can't really learn this shit on the fly. I wish I could. I, w I mean, you know, who wouldn't? But anyway, uh, dude, fucking awesome. Awesome song. Everything about it, I love. Um, not much else to say. We'll wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, thank you so much. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And if you have any suggestions for bands I should check out, like I wanna I wanna look into like some not you know, bands that are a little bit smaller, not well known. Of course we like the Polyphias and Dream Theaters and things like that, but I really wanna show support for the smaller guys coming up in this industry to where like five, 10, 15 years from now, these are gonna be the dominant forces in like this metal scene. So yeah. With all that away, thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.